what was the auditorium. We're looking toward from the stage back toward the uh, projection area. Uh, you can see we're standing on poured concrete, so we're we're up at ceiling level just about. I could reach up and touch the proscenium here. Well, this wouldn't be the proscenium. Proscenium would have been right up there where the stage curtains yeah. are in this area. This is the stage. Yeah. And right about in here was the uh, area for the uh, curtains. And right up here was the initial lights and the uh, stage lighting out in front. And of course, we're into the body of the well, There's an old electrical box right here. Probably yeah. went with it for the spotlights. Yeah. Uh, going through the storage area of the uh, for the theater and into the Hobby Lobby. Yeah. This is the Hobby Lobby. Right here. Look at that old exhaust fan. Yeah. It's probably here for years. Main electrical room and tunnel, right? And then the tunnel to the powerhouse. Yep. And there it is, folks. There's the door. Oh, my dark room is right next door, or was rather. Yep, there's the tunnel. Oh. All the old electrical apparatus. Here's, here's our tunnel that we used to go down to the powerhouse. Yeah. I'll be darned. Looks like there's some electricity running in there. Zzz. Yeah, at least it's wired for it. I don't know if there's any power going to it though. Yeah. Check these old boogers. Look at this. Well, let's rearrange some of these while we're here, Mike. Yeah, I well, know a little bit about electricity. <laughs> Save the battery. Yeah. Wouldn't do any good. What, what's this back here? Wire panel. No, 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 up here. Just a piece of wood, huh? Here's your shot. It's just behind that though. This is photo lab. my photo lab. This They've is an outside wall. Garages. Boy, the parking these folks got. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. That's an outside wall. They backfilled. Let's make sure you got over there. There's the garage. Yeah, this was the uh, the window from the photo lab looking out. That's why so many of your pictures were overexposed. <laughs> What's that doorway to? This is the biology lab area, so that would be, they would have cut that in. That, that door would be new. Walking through the studs. <laughs> or walking with the studs, the case may be. Two studs walking yeah. in a not, forest of studs. And not walking very well, we might add. We can't go any farther that way. That's a Wall. Okay, this would be where the Billy Goat again? Uh, right no, that would have been the rec room. Rec room for the intermediate. Yeah. Where is she? I'm going to go over this way. This sort of stairway. Yes. A stairway going up to 
subrector's office, study hall. You get a view of the other side the other day. It comes down, goes into a garage area. So we're going outside the building right now. Okay, as Charlie just mentioned a second ago, for my tape, we're in the refractory and we're looking back toward the area um, where the mosaic was. And as we look here, the, I remember the floor, the terrazzo tile, still here. The ceiling tiles are the same, the ones that still exist. We're looking up through what is now an elevator shaft to be into the music area. I guess that was Tut's, uh, Tatsu's room, right where we're looking right now. And the walls looks familiar. That yellow hasn't changed. This gorgeous old woodwork from the friar's bench, as I take it. Yeah. Looking back toward the kitchen area. Chance on the hot dogs. Chance on the hot dogs. I'll give you a piece of my birthday cake. All kinds of ghosts here. All kinds of voices. Looking out onto the courtyard. More of that paneling, the heavy woodwork that was in the Friars dining area. New wall partitions, same old floor. This would have been in the wind uh, in the dishwashing area, and there's an old dishwasher. And for those of us who wash dishes, there it was. Still sitting here, rusted out, corroding. Still has soap in it, too. Going back into the kitchen area now, to the front of the building. The old electrical grid. Little covered area, sideboard area. Stairs up to the infirmary on the second floor. Quite a drop there into the basement. All the old doors. Elevator. Rusted, sad state of disrepair. <laughs> Purchase orders still lying here for St. Joseph Franciscan Seminary. Staircase here built for the condos, and Charlie is up on the third floor. He said, if you look at the old terrazzo floors, 
new condo fireplace. Shaft or dumb waiter, whichever. And this would be one of the old fryer cells looking out on the neighborhood now with a moat out in front. Radio towers are still there in the distance. Fryer cells now have. Uh, Fireplaces, large closet spaces, jacuzzi area. Yes. Going through the bath area here, shower. Third floor. What was what was on this floor originally when we were here, Chuck? Charlie. Third floor, sewing rooms. Uh, Rotted floors now. Take a look at that wood. There's the tower. We can get you some true cross uh, pieces right here. Slivers in a foot. Yeah. You're gonna get a shot of who we were yesterday. You're looking down at the chapel from the altar area, looking back toward the back. Wind is blowing through. Still up on the walls, as you can see, are the frescoes. Why that one was erased, I don't know. And there's the choir loft in the distance. The radiators are still there. All the organs' pipes are gone. The organ's gone. And they put in flooring, of course, for a, this would be a, a condo area up here. But the Ornate architecture is still very much in evidence, although in a very sad state of disrepair. Looking up toward the tower area. straight down to where the altar was. We're up in the rafters by the tower. Decades of debris. Open portal here on the very roof of St. Joe's. This is to the tower itself.
shaking here. Tower is shaking, the ladder is shaking. That's the day to be on the roof. What you're looking at would be the very top of the altar area, right under the tower. And this is where we're going. This would be the sewing machine shop or the sewing machine shop is here or was here or the sandal repair whatever. This wing needs no introduction. Courtyard, the ornate stone garden, stone garden that was here, gone, trashed over. The dirt was firmed up to build the underground garaging that we looked at before. You see the solar windows going on the old slate in the condos. The stained glass windows are gone, either broken out or taken out. I think of the brother who spent his entire life, his entire career, tuck pointing here. And here it is. Here's his work. Just ignored. Must have been a finished area for show. Now it's trashed either by the wind or the vandals or neglect. Third floor again, and here's where the elevator was. This is our first look at St. Joe's. We came up these stairs. Many of us with our parents helping us lug our trunks and suitcases. We came up these stairs and essentially down into here on the old terrazzo tile and walking back into what was the freshman dormitory. Remember these floors? Remember the mops getting the dust bunnies out from under the beds? The floors are still here. Underneath all the grime of decay of the grime of neglect and of construction, the sheen is still there somewhat. You can still see the good hard wood. Fire hose.
I imagine was a mattress storage area or something like that, way in the back of the dormitory. And over here, a little, this is new construction, as you can see, they, they built out these little aid areas. But this is the original floor brought in here. All the original rafters still there with some help from some others. The freshman dorm, this is the stairwell area where we would have gone down had they not blocked this off, we would have gone down the stairwell and to the refectory or cafeteria, as we civilians call it. It's way around right now. Here they have it stacked, the original slate. Kept this dry for a lot of years. Little, little piece of St. Joe's here. All blocked off here. Can't get down that. I'm not. You shooting all this? Okay. Yep, this was our first introduction. Walking up these stairs with our parents, probably, carrying our trunks and suitcases up to the freshman dorm. Watch your step. Are there stairs there? Yeah. Back in the cafeteria. Charlie is carrying two bricks from the tower. All the way down from the tower. And if the darn thing falls Battery over. Battery pack. We'll know why. How did we get in here? We'll say this way. Yeah, back in the courtyard. Charlie, you're dragging your cord there. I remember looking out those windows on the other side, on the, our side, years and years ago. Here's the holy water fount as we come through the back of the chapel. And the light switches, of course. Back in the very back of the chapel now, heading toward the uh, school wing. And I were here just the other day, and when you're going through one, it's just like, well, what do you shoot, and what do you remember happened here? You got so much going on inside your head. You associate the people with certain places, Hobby Lobby with some folks, Sacristy with some folks who worked here. Always associate the organ loft with Louie Wapo, Tom Hunshaw, I think Bob Duria, Cahill, some of those folks down in the uh, craft shop, Rosso and the Billy Club, uh, Carl Flowers with those slot cars. Uh, I know other people did it. Uh, you at the bowling alley? Uh, bowling alley. Wayne Glaze at the bowling alley? Wayne Davis. Wayne Davis, I'm sorry, yeah. Wayne Glaze is in the hobby shop quite a bit. He liked yeah. that kind of stuff. Uh, studying anybody that's smart. Joe and Louie. Rich Dolish, if you're letting you, you're smart back then. Steve Dorr, McGrath, Jim Sobzik. Oh, Jim, how you doing? If you see this, think about you all the time. Eight kids. <laughs> we all think about you now and then. 
Oh, this is so much. Well, this is quite an adventure today. Up to the tower and down to the bowels of the place. Yeah, it's interesting how, how much they gutted it. Yeah. There's nothing in there that reminds you guys of uh, the way it was except for the walls, the structure. But, I mean, all the familiar landmarks that we'd know. Uh, Did you catch the holy water font? Is still there? I caught, got a shot of the holy yeah, water so font, but I'm glad we got some of the murals the other day in the uh -huh. top of the chapel rose window inside. Here, I'm sitting here paying attention. We're shooting each other, but <laughs> I'm telling you folks. See how they, even the corridors have changed so much, they put a condo in on each side, yeah. enlarge the corridor. Save a little battery here, but gee, yeah, so many memories. Walking around the back and talking about life's decisions, and I mean, not all the time. I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. you just talked about home folks, schoolwork, whether or not you're going to pass a test, or your bowling average, or what team you got picked for, or mm -hmm. what teacher you didn't like, who you liked, uh, or coming out by yourself, walking around trying to find yourself. Thinking of the guys that went ahead in class, some of the seniors when we were freshmen. Those folks, Clarence Foltz was from my hometown, Townsend's from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, Dan Green from Michigan. Uh, just a lot of memories of folks. Are Big city little? kids and small town kids yeah. coming together. The farm boys yeah. and the city boys. St. Louis, the Quincy. Guys, everybody from Quincy. Cleveland meets Effingham. Cleveland meets Effingham. How about the guys from Indy with them funny haircuts? <laughs> Butch in the back, a little bit to, shea, uh, to comb over in the front. The Indy look. And they produced Dan Quayle, so there you have it. They did that? They, they did that? Oh my God. And now where you can look back here, just take a shot where, that was right down below the hill where we played soccer. And now yep. there's got to be, what, a $450,000 home there? At least. Yeah, let's walk down this way for a second. Where was that, uh, let's see, here's the back of the chapel, so that the statue was right out here, where we're walking, right? Yeah. Right in the roadway. Yeah. Ambrose did his best to uh, keep this up, all manicured lawns. And then down there was the football field, where our greatest uh, victories uh, <laughs> occurred, or not. Mm -hmm. The baseball fields, yeah. There's the back of the retreat house. Yeah. But a shot from the, from the tower, there's no lake. Shot over this way and out over that way. There's no first lake. I mean, I'll look at the film again, but I looked out there, it's just trees. So no. I think they filled that in. No, it's there because I, when I shot it in April, I saw it. Well, it's gone now. There's a moat over in that area, but it's not first where the first lake was. We'll go by there when we drive All over right. to the car and check it, but I think first lake's gone. And maybe they're getting Trinity Lakes by including that little duck pond and moat in front. Looking uh, toward the uh, barber shop and dark room, that, that wing. The sophomore dorm, sophomore and junior dorm. Baseball field, all burned up now in order to make an underground garage. Mail call area. And that's the gym. You wouldn't recognize that as the gym. It's all condoed out, you know, flying buttresses flying everywhere.
love these feels for ragweed. <laughs>